Welcome everybody to our YouTube page, week three, it's personal. And I wanna welcome everyone that's watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe, share this video with all your friends and those who wanna experience Jesus with us. Um, I wanna go ahead and just open up with a, a, a few words of prayer and then we're gonna go ahead and go into the word, all right? So Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you. We thank you for this moment. We thank you for this opportunity to speak of you, oh Father God especially during this tough time of COVID-19, this year of pandemic, oh Father God, we've dealt with so much loss and so much anxiety and peer pressure and depression. Um, we ask you right now, Father God, alleviate that from us, oh Father God, remove it from us, oh Father God. We wanna think of you, oh Father God, and with you it's peace, with you it's hope, with you it's newness, oh Father God. So we, we wanna embody you, we wanna walk with you, we wanna have a relationship with you, oh God. So we invite you today, oh Father God. We invite your presence into this, this video, oh Father God. So we lift up your name, oh Father God, your mighty name, oh Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ we pray, amen and amen. Just how you guys learned in week two, about getting personal, week three is nothing but the same, but a different twist. Hear me out, hear me out. I know some of you guys probably watched The Grinch That Stole Christmas, right? Like, if you, if you watch it for how it looks, The Grinch is a bad dude. He's always angry, always upset, always trying to take people's joy away because he doesn't like Christmas, right? He takes away the, the singing. He steals the trees. He doesn't want any joy during this time but he has a backstory. Just like everyone that's watching, just like your family, your friends, we all have this backstory. And you would think, yeah, the Grinch is a, he's a bad dude. I would never want to be his friend. But if we kind of look back on his timeline, you'll get to understand why he's like that. And I just, I don't want to ruin the movie for you if you haven't gotten a chance to watch it. But when he was growing up, people treated him so bad because he looked different. And I know some of you guys can relate, you look different. Maybe you talk a little different, or you speak a different language, or your culture is different. I can relate too, growing up being Haitian. But with the Grinch, he was an outcast. And his favorite holiday was Christmas. Who would've knew, right? The Grinch that stole Christmas, his favorite holiday was Christmas. But if you didn't know that, then you would be out of the loop. You would judge him based on what he looks like now. And we're gonna kind of highlight that right now because everyone has a backstory. And, and, and the backstory is so important, it's crucial. Cause some of us, we wake up angry. We wake up with this identity of who are we? How can I make my day better? We question, oh man, if only I had a great morning of waking up, or maybe if I turned my assignment early, my, my, my day would change. So these are things that lead up to our backstory. And Jesus, he shows this on the New Testament. He speaks of this. And, and, and the thing that he speaks on is a, a key thing right here with Zacchaeus. He talks about how Jesus walks to this man. He, he's, he's, a, he's a known sinner. He's an outcast, just like the Grinch. He's so focused on taking people's best will and doing it for himself that he doesn't think about others. But yet for some reason, Jesus takes the time to understand him. And just like Jesus, he, he talks to everybody. He has a relationship. He already knows you before you were even you. So Jesus is like, hold on. Let me take a moment to kind of build this relationship with Zacchaeus. And we're gonna get into this. Um, Luke chapter 19, verse five through six. Let me wait till you get there. Go ahead and type in Luke on the comments. So he, 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 he goes in and, and talks to Zacchaeus and he says this. Zacchaeus, he said, quickly come down. I must be, it must be a great, it must, I must be a guest in your home today. Let me go ahead and repeat that again. Zacchaeus, he said, quick, come down. I must be a guest in your home today. And Zacchaeus, he quickly comes down. He's like, wait, someone's acknowledging me? So they, they're, they're excited. They're going to his house. And think about it. Have you ever had someone just come, come and ask you, hey, let me go to your house? The immediate sense of what's going in your mind is like, wait, I don't know you. Why would I let you into my personal space? That's my home. That's where I feel safe. And Jesus, he knew that. Jesus wants to build that relationship with you. So he wants to get into your personal space. He doesn't want to just go oh, high and by. He wants to know how are you feeling? What, what's going on with you? And that's what he does with Zacchaeus. And, and the people of the town, oh man, 
the people on the town were upset. Look at Luke chapter 19, verse 7. It says here, he has gone to, he has, he has gone to be the guest of a notorious sinner. So you're, you already know people around you are upset because you're trying to claim God and you're building this relationship with God. And that's the same thing that Zakai is dealing with. He's a sinner and he, he's still chasing after God. He's still trying to figure out why is this man trying to get to like trying to get to know me? Why is he trying to get so personal? And, and, and Jesus, he, he opens he opens the heart of Zacchaeus. He allows himself to to understand why is he like this? Why? Why is he trying to take advantage of people? What, what's behind that skin? What's behind the flesh? And Jesus begins to make a connection with Zacchaeus. He begins to understand like he he just lost. And I'm here to help him out. And I'm trying to help you out right now with this, this verse right here. Because I know you're probably asking yourself, how did Jesus do it? How, how can he move in this world and not go through things? No, no, no. It says it right here. Let's go to Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2, chapter 5, verse 8. We're going to read that. It says here, you must, you must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Christ Jesus, human, Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privilege. He took the humble position of a servant and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal death on the cross. So uh, now, now that you, you've got this verse in your system, I want us to digest it because what we're looking at right now is that God went through it. He's had, he, had, he had to deal with losses, best friends passing away. He can relate to us. There's nothing that Jesus went through that we probably never went through. He, he, he's been through it all. So he's relatable. And that's the thing about Jesus. You can, you can open your heart to him and he'll be able not to only understand, but he'll be with you. So I want you guys to get this idea of these three steps here. The first one is to acknowledge Jesus, that he is everything to you. He knows you inside out. But the thing about Jesus is he wants to know your emotions. He wants to build that time with you. He wants to understand the situations that you're in. Whether it be COVID-19, whether you have a loved one that's dealing with um, going to the hospital in and out, or your, your, your parents are financially struggling right now during this tough time, he wants to know. He wants to know how can he be a, a, a aid to you? How can he help you? And, and that's the first thing I want you to do. Acknowledge Jesus Christ. Acknowledge that he is able to come to the rescue. He can come and comfort you. He can come as a support. Whatever you want Jesus to be, he can. The second thing is let someone else know your story. Let's go back to the beginning about the Grinch who stole Christmas. If you didn't know his story, you wouldn't understand who he is. So let, let others know your story, whether it be a, a, a group leader, whether it be one of us as a lead, or your mother or your parents, or even a teacher. Let someone know what's going on because that's what will make you a sharper person. And then the last thing I want you guys to understand is let other people have access to you so that they can share their stories too. Because you don't want to be the only one that's kind of telling your, your struggles and your situation and how you got through it. But you also want to be that person that you can listen into those stories as well. Because it's nothing like getting personal and not having that option of, hey, you can come to me as well. So I want us to understand that our lives can change when we get personal with Jesus Christ. So let's go ahead and bow our eyes and close our eyes and bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you. We thank you for this moment of prayer, oh Father God. We wanna be more like you, oh Father God, more like Zacchaeus as far as being able to open up, getting personal with you, having a divine relationship with you, oh Father God. Regardless of, what's the, regardless of what the world is putting out there, oh Father God, we wanna be like you, oh Father God. So we ask you right now, Father God, have your way. Have your way in our lives, oh Father God. Allow us to walk by faith and not by sight. 
we will not be able to, to, to live without you, oh God. So we know this as it is true, oh Father God. So we thank you right now, Father God, for your calling, your move over the youth. Keep them protected, oh Father God, at all costs, oh Father God. Allow them to, to do well during this holiday break, oh Father God. We thank you right now, Father God, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. We thank you right now for the leads. We thank you right now for the support system that they have. We thank you right now for what you're doing in the midst of problems and, and, and hurdles, oh Father God. And your mighty and matchless name we pray. Amen and amen. Get personal, guys.